Hello Retrocast fans, Moobit here with a question. What do you do if you are a sentient walking snowman with a strangely human girlfriend who is all, all over you who happens to just have been kidnapped by a purple skinned David Bowie lookalike for reasons unknown? Well, once you've scratched your head and then obviously congratulated yourselves on your multiple uses of your carrot nose, you go after her like a snowball chucking ninja. Yes, it's time for Snow Brothers. Originally released in 1990 by Topland in the arcades, this is the Sega Mega Drive Stroke Genesis version released by Tengen in 1993. Hey, Moobit here with another retro cast review for you, and this is one of my favourite ever single screen clear up type games. That's right, it's 1990's Snow Brothers. Now, single screen clear up games, you've never, if you've never heard of that before, that's because I just made it up. Um, if I say the words 1986 and bubble bubble, yeah, you're probably instantly flooded with a wave of bubble popular and nostalgia now, aren't you? Yeah, you see. Well, this game works with a very similar mechanic. You play as walking snowman Nick and Tom. Um, you can have two players at the same time. Uh, the modern version would be co-op, I suppose. A bit like Bubble Bobble, really. And uh, the plot, if the, you can really call it that, is the uh, usual from an 80s arcade game. Their girlfriends have been kidnapped by a purple-skinned David Bowie lookalike. For some reason, I still haven't managed to work out. I mean, why can't these game heroes ever hold on to the partners, eh? I don't know. Well, anyway, as you can see, it's now your job to get them back by fighting your way up each level of a what's supposed to be a tower until you reach the top. I mean, to be honest, if you're here for plot, you know, go play a JRPG or something. But if you're here for frantic, snow chucking, trick shot creating mayhem, you've just come to the right place. All right, so game aims. Aim is quite simple, you have to just clear each enemy on the screen as quickly as possible. And if you take too long, an evil, invincible, pumpkin head dude thing in a purple cape. Always gotta have the purple cape, come on, it's the most evil colour of them all. Mm. And yeah, he basically appears, chases you around, and uh, you just have to kill all the enemies on the screen before he gets you. How do you kill enemies? Well, you throw snowballs, or in this case, they uh, take the form of strangely psychedelic uh, boomerangy snow things. Yeah, wonder what they were smoking when they made this game. But anyway, you chuck enough of them at an enemy, and eventually they turn into a giant snowball, and you can kick that around the stage and clear other en enemies with it, really. If you uh, manage to take out all the enemies by kicking just one snowball, if you can kill them all off, a load of money falls down in the form of large green dollar bills, and uh, they disappear quite quickly, but, you know, 10,000 points each, baby. Go and fetch them. Now, if you don't manage to knock out all the enemies at once, don't worry about it. You find that each enemy you knock out um, will actually spin around the screen wildly, as you can see here, until they come to la land on a certain platform somewhere, and they usually leave some kind of a bonus to pick up. Some are just little edible point uh, scoring things like sushi and cakes and things like that, but some take the form of coloured lanterns that look suspiciously like uh, medicine bottles, but I've read the background, they are lanterns. Mm, yeah, but anyway, you uh, you pick up these lanterns and these give you power-ups. Oh yes, you can't have an 80s arcade game without power-ups. And those include uh, red, yellow, green and blue, basically. One increases your speed, one uh, increases the distance of your shot, uh, one increases the power of your shot, make, making the little snowball things you throw a lot bigger, so you cause more damage and form snowballs quicker. And the green one, which is uber, uber rare, causes you to inflate to a big snowbally, bloaty man thing, and you just go around killing all the enemies in your path. So, yeah, if you uh, collect all these power ups you want, the green's obviously a little standalone thing, but if you get the red, yellow, and blue one, so you've got the speed, the power, and the uh, distance of your shot, helps you clear the levels a hell of a lot quicker, gets you to the boss a lot easier. Speaking of which, the bosses are actually relatively um, standard uh, arcade fare, the half size screen little sprites chucking uh, random things at you, as you can see here, is a couple of them. Um, but you know, they're fun nonetheless. You've got like this giant jumping monster kangaroo punk rocker thing. I don't know what they are, but if you see what he's chucking, they look suspiciously like spinies. So yeah, it must have been like a Tuesday off that day. 
Um, then you got this other one here, looks like a giant brain mush monster thing on a floating platform with cannons coming out of his back and arse and stuff. Yeah. But look, he's chucking the bombs. Hmm, are you watching this, Nintendo? All in all, this is absolutely brilliant, frantic, fantastic diversion of the game. I cannot praise this thing enough. It's brilliant. I love the thing. It's got a great soundtrack, got loads of replayability. You can just blast through it, put it down when you finish with it, or you can just put in a limited uh, continues and just try and get to the end. It does get very hard once you get to the, sort of the third, third um, section of levels onwards. Um, you can actually get it on the Mega Drive. You can get it on the Amiga. You can get an you can get an arcade port of a ROM if you want, but obviously we would never uh, recommend that, boys and girls. And the Amiga, Atari, Commodore. It's been out on just about every system going. You can actually get an online Flash version of it as well. Um, so just Google Snow Brothers Flash version. It's ported from the Amiga version of the game. Um, but like I say, if you can find it, I would recommend you play this 16-bit console version. Or if you can find the arcade machine, even better. Yeah, so in total, five yellow snowballs out of five. I like to move it, move it, bit, bit.